In this video, we are going to go over how to use DocHub to edit PDF files. You'll need to open a PDF and sometimes you'll need to make sure you open it in a new window with the three dots in the upper right corner to make sure you have the options to open with in the top in the middle. And then you'll choose Doc Hub from that drop down menu and it will open your PDF here with this awesome toolbar at the top with ways to edit your PDF. So going through, you have undo, redo, pointer, and then you have the text box, which is that A to click on, and then you can drag and add a text box just like you would in Google Slides or something like that. You can highlight your text, change the size and the font. You have a couple options here and you can change the color. So there are some um, editing features that you can do with your text, um, some formatting, make it bold. Then if you hover over that, there are um, the blue tab features here. You can move if you drag over the top left and then you can delete your text box over the top. Now you notice if I just kind of click off that text box, I uh, create a text box every time I click. So I do need to go back and click the pointer arrow if I want to click on my PDF with without making a text box. So the next option here is I can add shapes to my PDF. I can draw a freehand shape, rectangle, circle, or an arrow. And so I've just added an arrow. However, you can see the fill color is transparent. That's what that red line means. That means there's no color added. So if I go here and choose colors, then it um, becomes visible because I've picked black. And so I can um, go back over and edit the resizing and move my arrow where I want it to be. So um, if I want to add any other um, shapes, I can do that from that drop down. So I'm going to add a uh, rectangle and it will save the most recent formatting that you have added. So like with text, it will save that green Helvetica and with the shapes, it will save the black options. So I'm just going to change that to white as um, a white out to cover up the date. Um, then the next uh, set of um, options in the toolbar is highlight. This is a great feature for students. If they are annotating a PDF article, you can use the highlighter to highlight um, sections and um, you can also add a comment so you can open student work in Doc Hub and add comments or you can add a comment to an assignment um, as a little reminder and it works essentially like comments in um, Google Docs. And so that is uh, the next one over from Highlight. Then you've got Whiteout that works like I just made that um, rectangle white. Um, the Whiteout uh, works uh, in an easier way. Um, it just creates a, a white rectangle to cover up any sections in your PDF that you don't want to be visible. The next part is to add a stamp. You can add any of these um, little icons to your PDF. This can be great um, for students to insert check marks um, to highlight multiple choice questions. So showing them how to insert a check uh, is a great feature. Clicking on that pointer first so then you can resize easier and move that around. Um, so again, that check box, there's a little uh, drop down next to the check mark and you can um, insert any of those stamps into your PDF. The next option is an image. You can insert an image from your pictures that are saved on your computer and uh, put those anywhere in your PDF. The last feature is you can import a signature that you have saved um, if you are using your PDFs to sign any documents uh, digitally. Um, so that's the last option along the toolbar. Then in the top right, there is the download and export button that looks like the download arrow. Then exporting to Google Drive is uh, the best option and it will save your copy with all of your edits in your drive. And it will look like this with um, everything auto saved as you go and saved um, to this version. You can resolve the comments um, when you open it. You can even save it without the comments. I'll show you what that looks like here in a moment. Um, but this is your saved version in your 
Drive as a PDF. So again, um, when you share Doc Hub with your students, the text box and the stamp and highlight are probably the features that you will um, want to share most with your students, how to use those and then how to download and save to your drive and or um, to Google Classroom. That is an option if you click on the um, download or export. If they choose Classroom, it will create a shareable link to post to an assignment. However, you do need to use due dates because it will only allow them to share to Google Classroom uh, for upcoming assignments with due dates. So you'll see here when you share to your drive, this is where you can remove comments or um, choose to update an existing revision so you aren't creating multiple copies. So this is how you can use Doc Hub to edit your PDFs and save those PDFs to your Google Drive and connect it to Google Classroom.